Now let us go towards the properties of the steady state. So what is steady state? How did we define steady state? We already have done this. Steady state was defined where change in per capita capital was zero. Our equation of change in capital was given by this. Right? We had written that K dot is equal to investment minus N plus delta into K. We had derived this equation. We know that at steady state, this K dot will be zero. So SY will be equal to N plus delta K. Now there are multiple things that can be asked in exam. So the first thing will be find capital save uh, capital output ratio at steady state. So if I want to find the capital output ratio, it is simple. If I have S Y is equal to N plus delta K. So K by Y will be S divided by N plus delta. Second, if we know that Y is small K to the power alpha, this is what we had derived. So is Y ki jagah par, I can plug this small K to the power alpha and I will get K upon K to the power alpha is equal to S upon N plus delta. So this will give me K to the power 1 minus alpha is equal to S upon N plus delta. And you can find the value of steady state value of capital S upon N plus delta to the power 1 upon 1 minus alpha. Right. Step number 3. If they ask you find steady state value of output. So output is K to the power alpha. K is this. So output will be S upon N plus delta to the power alpha upon 1 minus alpha. This will be the value of Y. So we can go ahead and we can find all three things. We can also know the steady state level of capital. Kitna hai. What is the steady state value of uh, output? And what is the capital to output ratio? Okay. Now one question arises. Why are some countries rich and other countries poor? Why are some countries rich and some countries poor? Right? 